Can you tell the difference between this and this? Because if you can, then I highly suggest playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the PlayStation 5. Now I know it's virtually impossible to find a PS5 at the moment, so I don't blame you if you bought Valhalla on PS4. But if you were lucky enough to secure a pre-order, the next gen is where you want to play it. Or should I say current gen, because you know. The PlayStation 5 is already out. All right, so just a heads up. The game uses a day and night cycle, which makes some of the footage look slightly different. I tried my best to match up the correct time of day, so take that into account when watching this video. In terms of texture detail, you're pretty much getting a like-for-like -like match on the PS4 Pro. Character models look very similar, especially in the cutscenes and during gameplay. I honestly couldn't tell the two versions apart when switching back and forth. Image clarity is where you'll see a big difference. Although the PS5 and PS4 Pro are both running at a dynamic 4K resolution, things just look sharper on Sony's new machine. Partly because the PlayStation 5 is able to stick closer to a target 4K. It's ranging anywhere from 1440p to 2160p. I'm assuming the PS4 Pro is hitting a slightly lower resolution. Draw distance also plays a big role. Objects in the background are easier to make out on the PS5 than they are on the PS4 Pro. It also doesn't hurt that PlayStation 5 is running the game at a locked 60 frames a second, which I will get into a little bit later. Overall, I noticed the image looking darker and more washed out on the PS4 Pro. Granted, it still looks pretty good, but you can't help but notice the jump in clarity when moving over to PS5. Another reason why you need to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla on PS5 is the loading. The new SSD is put to work, and it clearly shows. Loading from a previous save is now much quicker on the PlayStation 5. Fast traveling is exactly what the name entails, which is fast traveling. You get there faster than you normally would. Another thing to point out, which I haven't heard a lot of people mention, is how quickly it takes to go back and forth between eagle vision. You know the thing when you want to scout ahead and see what's in front of you? The difference isn't apparent when the eagle is close to the main character, but go any further and you'll notice it takes a bit longer to load back to the starting point on the PS4 Pro. That isn't the case with the PlayStation 5. Ah, gotta love that SSD. Now, you may have heard some commotion regarding the new adaptive triggers on the PS5 controller and how it's being labeled as a game changer. I didn't notice much of a difference at first and quite honestly, wasn't sure if Valhalla had any rumble support at all. It wasn't until I played this one raid where I took control of a bow gun. This is where I took notice of the game changer that everyone was talking about. I could feel the resistance of the strings as they pulled the bow gun back to fire in my next shot. The tension the triggers give off is unbelievable. It really is an outer body experience and you really have to try it for yourself to know what I'm talking about. I was very impressed to say the least. Truly next gen stuff right here and a compelling reason to pick up a PlayStation 5. I can't wait to see what it's like to play Gran Turismo with this controller. And finally, my biggest reason to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla on PlayStation 5 the frame rate. Up until this point, the only way to play anything on the PS4 Pro at 60 frames a second was to sacrifice resolution, and even then it was never a locked 60 frames. It was usually 1080p with an uncapped frame rate. On PlayStation 5, you're getting dynamic 4K with a locked 60 frames per second. I never realized how big a difference frame rate really was until I made this comparison video. This, my friend, is the true game changer. I know PC gamers are used to this thing by now, but for those like myself who grew up gaming on consoles, this is completely new Uncharted territory. Territory. Having played 10 plus hours so far of Valhalla on PlayStation 5 at 60 frames a second, I can't see myself ever going back to 30 frames a second. The future is bright for console gaming, and I can't wait to see what's in store for the PS5. Next gen is finally here, and boy does it look good. Alright, I lied. There's one more reason you should play Valhalla on next gen consoles. Just because you don't have a PlayStation 5 doesn't mean you shouldn't buy this game. Ubisoft is offering a free next gen upgrade, so once you get that shiny new PlayStation 5 console, all you gotta do is download the PS5 patch and you're good to go. You don't need to buy another copy of this game. So if you want to play the game and all you got is a PS4 or a PS4 Pro, no need to worry. Download the patch when you get a PS5 and transfer the 
save over. You'll start exactly where you left off in glorious dynamic 4K at 60 frames a second. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then check out Robert at Windy Corner TV, where he compares Valhalla on the new Xbox Series X. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.